Yeah, well, we are in studio right now. Welcome to have uh, Thomas Caprafoli in studio to talk about uh, the the big Westboro uh, Baptist Church ride. It's actually the ride against the. <laughs> you're not in support, I guess. Uh, this is the ride against the Westboro Baptist Church 2011, which makes me think you may be wanting to do this again. Yeah, we're going to see how it uh, turns out and make it an annual event. Yeah, well, welcome, uh, welcome to the Big Dumb Fun Show for the first time. I ran into you uh, with uh, with Cat and the gang uh, at uh, Adult Night not too long ago, and I was like, oh man, I got to get him in studio. And you're joined by Patrick from Unwritten Rules. Welcome, Patrick, uh, to, as well. So, this is your first time in studio as well. Absolutely. Uh, welcome you both. Uh, you know, I, I shared last week uh, that I was able to meet. Uh, meet and greet with the guys uh, with Operation Patriot Shield last weekend, uh, or la- it was actually last week. And such a great, you know, group of guys to kind of protect against uh, the- using their free speech to block their free speech. You know, basically, like they they go to the funerals that they go that the the, the Westboro Baptist crazies go to, and they just kind of block it to where the families can't see. A lot of that, you know, what that, you know, a lot of what's going on yeah, in these funerals. So the, the Patriot Guard, yeah, Patriot Guard. Is Patriot that what, what did I yeah. say? Patriot Shield. Yeah, it's, oh, a, okay. it's a Patriot Guard. Patriot Guard. So yeah, a great bunch of guys. Yes. Um, but uh, tell us about exactly what you're going to be doing. What, what's what's going to happen on uh, October second? Well, we're going to meet down at Johnny's on Shiny Mission Parkway in Flum, and uh, we're going to get everything organized, and we're going to head out to Topeka off of Seven Highway to. Uh, K-32 through mm-hmm. Bonner Springs, and then uh, hit 24 Highway straight to Topeka. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, which would be tough not to be, uh, the Westboro Baptist Church is the, their, like their website is, is God Hates Facts. Uh, they will go and, uh, and protest at, uh, at many things, but specifically soldiers' funerals. They'll go out and they'll protest because they think that these soldiers are dying because uh, is it the, the United States position on gay marriage and or gays in the military is that a fairly good summary or yeah i believe so that's exactly what they're trying to pretend that they're yeah. against i think it's for media attention i think it's for money yeah well they yeah. are a bunch of lawyers so. yeah i think they're all a bunch of lawyers and they what they do is they go and they they use their freedom of speech uh, whenever they can, and just so that they can sue the the counties, the cities. You know, they can sue them, and then the cities will end up settling with them. You know, I, should, I think that should, I think that is their end game. They're going to make money, and well, they make money for their church. I think people they they know Westboro Baptist Church probably best by their leader, if you will, Fred Phelps. Mm-hmm. Freddie Phelps. He's, Fred Phelps. He's like, br- the who, grandfather of yeah, this of this whole, of this whole event. Yeah, that, grandpapa that, that wants to come out and and has his signs. God hates fags. So he's not really, you know, under. Apparently, he's not a Christian guy in terms of turning the other cheek, <laughs> if it's the butt cheek. <laughs> yeah, apparently not. Yeah, not, not at all. But uh, but you're organizing this ride. Uh, how many bikers do you expect are, are going to show up for this thing? It, it's, I think it's going to be a huge ordeal. Well, right now we're uh, we're shooting for a thousand riders, or at least a thousand people to show up. Yeah. And uh, stand with us. We, right now, we have about 960 possible riders on our Facebook event. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. We linked up to it a little bit, uh, Ride Against the WBC 2011. It's uh, linked up on our Big Dumb Funcho Facebook account. And I think we, uh, we tweeted that out as well. So you definitely got to go there. Uh, now, what if, you don't, what if uh, you don't have a bike? Can you still can you drive along? Can you ride along? Can I ride on the back of one of your guys? I'll ride, bitch. I don't care. I'll, just, <laughs> I'll sit back there. What do you do if you don't have a bike? Cars. Anything. Yeah. You're going to have to have a sidecar, Vang. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need a sidecar for you. Just uh, Cars, automobiles, <laughs> vans, yeah, just buses. Anything without a muffler. Just take the muffler off. Exactly. Because that's your goal is just to piss these people off. Just get as, as close to the, the compound as you can and just rev it up, right? Just annoy their, their service. Will they be having service at this time? Have you researched that? Uh, yeah, they've changed their uh, services from uh, 7.30 in the morning till 3.30 in the afternoon. The reason being is that by law you can't protest a church within the service hours of service. You can't? No. That's such a weird... Yeah, amazing, right? Yeah, well, that's such an odd law. So uh, what we plan on doing is instead of getting out and holding signs, just uh, make a few trips around the compound with a few hundred bikes. Uh, the whole it's shake, na- the, the, shake the windows yeah, of this place. The whole neighborhood is mostly lived in by Westboro Baptist uh, families. Like they, they own the entire like city block. Yes, for the most part, that's crazy, and it's it, but it's all family, right? Or is this kind of like one of those ancestral things, or you think that people are joined? Like, who's going to date the Westboro girl <laughs> in high school? He's a nice boy. He's <laughs> going to be an attorney when he grows up. <laughs> like, I just can't imagine. I how... know he doesn't like to touch little boys. <laughs> 
it's just it's just very odd. It's just very odd. Yeah. I don't know. But Patrick, you actually have a tie to this. Is that uh, uh, you? You've experienced this firsthand uh, the, the death of a of, of a soldier, the death yeah, of a, a loved yeah. one. Yeah, I lost my nephew Joel Bertoldi to the war in Iraq in 2003. That's awful. Um, I'm sorry about that. You know, we we wrote a song called "Broken Hero." Uh, in his honor and all the all the soldiers' honor, you we're, we're going to preview that a little bit later in the show, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and that's that's YouTubeable, right? Yeah, you can pull it up on the, yeah. on the YouTube of the Reverb yeah, Nation. We, yeah, we have a we have a video, a full length video, and yeah, we we support the troops, you know, absolutely, probably more than most bands in the area. Yeah, you know, they're, not they're, not tipping our hat, but you know, no, we're, we're just no. you know. I understand. If, if, we, if we it have some guys it, come in here, and they're and and you'd be you'd be, you'd be surprised the support that they've got. Right. You know, when it when it comes to you know doing that, like ex soldiers, right? Or, you know, ex marines, you know, that are now in the band, they're in the in the area, and yeah. and uh, you know, and, and the good work they do. And I would expect uh, some of them gonna, are going to be at this rally. Yeah. You know, if it weren't for be, them, we wouldn't be here. Absolutely. Are you, you know, are you concerned at all that somebody from the Westboro Baptist Church may come out? Say they are just taking the trash out to the street. <laughs> Fred Phelps in his slippers, just, you know, what the in a hell? robe, whatever, you know. And it's, it's a Sunday after the service, and they're cleaning up, if you will, and uh, and they get hit by a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Yeah, I don't know. You, I guess you got to be prepared if someone, I mean, someone what, accidentally steps in the if, way. If you're protesting them, what if they come out on their ground in their lawn and they they pick at you back? You don't think that'll happen? You think, yeah? Do you no, think yeah. they're going to stay shut inside? No, I 100% uh, expect them to come out. To come out and uh, have they had any contact with you whatsoever, trying to find out the details of the event or yeah. anything? Did they weird? friend up with you on the Facebook? <laughs> <Your friend laughs> like Phelps. all of a sudden, you're like, "Hey, Fred Phelps is our friend on he Facebook." Just, he just liked my link. No, on the uh, he's retweeting us <laughs> on the video ad on YouTube, right against the Westboro Church. Uh, there's a group called uh, Westboro Documentary mm-hmm. that's made a few comments. You know, and kind of mocked us a little bit. And uh, there's another uh, group of motorcyclists around the country called uh, Hell's Angels. No. No. <laughs> J- Journey for Justice. Yeah, J for J. And they're pro pro Westboro. No, they uh, they come every weekend down to Topeka uh, in small groups to mm-hmm. make sure that none of them are standing on corners. They go and block them every weekend. That they've made that their goal. Oh, cool. So I and they're and they're against you. No, no, they're oh, they're no, for you. Okay, they're, they're, they're also they're, in support. They're against the Westboro Church. I understand. Good. Yeah, well, that's going to be some extra folks for you guys. Yeah, I, I mean, I just hope you out. rock the windows to where they they're falling out, like like they're they're busting in the windows and all in all the houses. They're just they're just crazy. But uh, in their defense, they are exercising their free speech right. But so are you. I mean, that's, everything that's right. you're doing is within the law, just as everything that they're doing is within the law. You've changed your hours of the ride to where you're not disturbing their service, whatever the law requires. And I, and I, and I think that's absolutely brilliant. Oh, no. No, it's during their service. Oh, it is during the it's service. It's during their service. We're just not going to get off and protest them with fl- uh, signs of hate. Okay, I got you. You're like not that. protesting, you're but you may be driving by. It's just, <laughs> it's just a Sunday ride. It's just a su- nice Sunday 900 stroll. 900 bikes. What's the weather look like, Topeka, that Sunday? That's uh, a beautiful thing. It's going to be a beautiful It's going to be day. 73. Three degrees, zero oh. percent percent chance of rain. It's going to be great. What time are you guys meeting at, at Johnny's? J- Johnny's. Uh, we're going to try to shoot out of there at ten o'clock. So if people are there before ten a.m. on Sunday, October third, mm-hmm. they got to ride up there. Like this is going to yeah. be just such, such a great. I think you're going to fill the parking lot because that, that's not the biggest of lots, right? You're, I mean, you're really going to have to get the formation. Well, and the parking lot next to Johnny's, mm-hmm. we're re- really going to stage up, and that's. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty big size parking lot. Well, uh, when we come back, of course, we'll listen to that, that that song by Unwritten Rules, but we'll talk more about what you can expect once you get to uh, Topeka, uh, some of the entertainment value that you're going to be able to get uh, by riding up there, and maybe some of the uh, the costs that may or may not be involved. Uh, and uh, I mean, we, we got to get, I mean, we got to get this funded, right? I mean, you gotta you gotta make this to where you can do it every year. And absolutely. absolutely. Okay, so we'll talk more about that, Thomas. Patrick, thank you very much. Yeah, we'll be right back on the Big Dumb Fun Show. <laughs> 